Hey ladies and gentlemen and Bay Climbers, welcome back to another one of my weekly episodes. In today's episode, we're not going to be going over the DJI Osmo Action. I ran some problems with that thing in the field. If you want to find out what happened, you can go check my Instagram out. I did a post on it. I think it was my latest post. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go over top rope soloing. Uh, it's probably my most viewed video on YouTube, but there was some definitely some remarks and suggestions. So I figured, hey, let's revisit the topic and try some new things out. Let's roll the intro and get started. Everybody, welcome back. So the video I made a year ago, I'm not going to go over everything I did in that video and redo it all over again. I'm going to try some different things out, uh, test some things out, testing things out I never tried before right here in a controlled environment, which you should always do is test everything out in a controlled environment before you take it into the field. So let's go over what I did in that video. Well, I had just one Traxion, just like this, on the rope. That would engage. And then I had a uh, just a, a locking carabiner, spring loaded, not screw on. These things are pretty good until the spring wears out, so you always have to watch it for that. And then I would take that and I put that on my harness. And because it had an extra gate down here, it would normally keep everything from uh, cross loading. And then we just attach that on just like that. And then you tie a knot in the rope uh, every so often when you get a little rest, you can tie something there. And then you just climb up and then it follows you up like that. And then when it's time to fall, you're just, you're like that. One important thing I need to also mention about this tracks is because if you bought this today, just now, there would be a little knob right here. And what this, what that knob would do was it would, I mentioned this in my other video I made, which you can go see me actually using this thing in the field is that knob would lock open this tracks because this kind of works like a pulley. Like if you're pulling up like a load, like if you're hauling or whatever, you pull here and then this would bite down and it'd be like a progress capture. So if you wanted it to be just a free pulley, this would lock open and you could use it as a free pulley. Now that could be dangerous if you're gonna use it as a soloing device because if it's locked open for obvious reasons and then you th think it's not, you could fall. So with the with this one and the one the other one I have on the rope, those knobs are filed off so it can no longer open up and hold it open so now it's just kind of like always lock like that so that's an important thing i need to mention before we get into this because uh if you don't file off that knob like i just explained you could run into some problems okay now what i thought about while doing this whole thing is and uh from the comment sections and just thinking about what could go wrong because a lot of people some couple people said uh, it might be unsafe for certain reasons um the main uh, point of safety that I thought about was if you had a loose shirt it could get in there and then that would stop everything from working and, and the other things people were saying was that it's toothed but you know I, I'll try some other things out right here so let's get down for, oh well you know what while I'm here I'll show you how you uh, go from this to repel because that was one of the questions you had so what you need is a grigri which is how you got down to the bottom of the cliff Normally, if you're doing this on one rope, you're utilizing the whole length of your rope, repelling all the way down so you can climb like a 300 foot, this is a 300 foot rope, which it is. So what you do to go back to repel is you have to have your, your gris gris and you attach it with another beaner like so, and then attach this into your rope. And I'll show you a problem that could happen with this, which is pretty dangerous. So you have to do this right. Okay, so. Now you have to get this weighted. And what you can't do is you can't just uh, pull up and lower this down onto there. And I'll show you why now, if you did that. So if you did that, now that we're in a controlled environment, you lower this like this. If it ends up slipping down and fell like this, just like that, what could happen is this Grigri is jamming op the open the Traxion, and the Traxion could be pushing down the Grigri. So you could have a system failure here, and it also, you could hear it, it could just start eating at your rope, and you could just start falling down. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. So that, that's, you don't wanna do that, okay? Now this is a weird situation because normally if you were on the cliff, 
I would attach this and I'd still be standing on the cliff and I could get my weight off and I could just go like that and then I could go into repel. But if we were just doing an overhang or something and then we fell and we're hanging, well, we need to get the weight off of that. So we would need to be carrying a Jumar, which you should always be carrying a Jumar because if you run to a, if you lower down somewhere that you can't climb out of, you're gonna need a Jumar to get back out. So you should always have a Jumar on your harness when you're doing this technique. So you wanna get on over here like this, get your foot in there, pull up on that, get out of your tracks, get down into your, into your gree gree, and then take this off and then you can just lower it down. Okay, so one of the things that could happen, like let's say, like we said, mentioned earlier, our shirt gets stuck in there and that fails. So let's make it more redundant. And the way, honestly, the way I'd make it more redundant is just <laughs> add another tracks on there. So just add another tracks on there and then bam, it's more redundant. So now we need three locking beaners, uh, one, for the, one for this tracks, one for that tracks, and then obviously one for the gree gree. And that's how I would do it. So let's see what that looks like when we do that. Hook into that. This is that Gravel, this is that Gravel double gate thing I've been testing out. I've seen how it works with everything. So far, all right. I mean, the one thing I have against it is the this gate here doesn't seem to open too wide. So, but uh, other than that, not too bad. Okay, got in there. All right, so let's see what that's like when you pull up on it just slides up the rope which is what I really like okay so this is probably what I would do if I was gonna make it more redundant and more safe just have two of them okay I'm gonna get down and we'll try some other things out okay so a couple of you guys mentioned using like a shunt which is kind of what this is this is a pretzel rescue sender which uh, it's not toothed it's just kind of grooved here and it pushes, pinches down on the rope and that's what holds it. So a lot of remarks were, oh, you know, the teeth are gonna mess up your rope. For me, it's just kind of like jumaring, but well, I'll, I'll put this on here. What I liked about this one is some of I saw were like for double ropes. I use it, I use this as a single rope, like I mentioned, because I get the full length of the rope. So this one holds a single rope. And also what I like about it, it's gonna come totally off the rope. So this opens totally out and you can just slip your rope in there and close it back up. And that way, when you do it like that, you don't have to feed the whole, <laughs> feed it all the way through the other end of the rope because some of them are enclosed. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put that there and we're gonna see how this thing works. Okay. Tried this thing out yet, all right. <sighs> Looks like it slides up the rope pretty good. And it also slides down. So, so unless you fall on this thing, unless you really fall on this thing, it's not gonna lock up which probably is a problem with those shunts. They probably slide. And that's gonna scare the hell out of you if you just wanna if you just wanna get your weight on it and all of a sudden it slides down the rope, you're gonna be like, whoa, what the heck, it's not engaging. And you're probably gonna poop yourself a little bit. Well, let's try to make this thing a little bit more redundant too. So what would we do? Well, I mean, this thing looks like it's pretty strong, but if you were soloing, that thing would probably scare the crap out of you if it starts sliding back down. Let's add a Prusik and see how that goes. Now, if you're gonna add a Prusik, you can never add it down here. Prusik, Prusik, you can never add it down here because this will disengage the Prusik by just pushing it. So we're gonna put it up here and see how that goes. Four wraps, four or five wraps. I'm just gonna try to get it, choke it up here. I even do a girth hitch down here or something. No, let's just add it. Just add something down here. Okay, let's try to tighten this up so it at least engages. Clean it up. Tighten this thing up. Get that nice and tight. Okay, now let's see what happens when we go up and then down. So we're climbing. Seems to just grab the rope and bring it up, which I don't like. Maybe we loosen up a little bit. Let's see now. Grab it. Well, I guess that's nice. I have a feeling those wouldn't be too nice. Well, you'd have to shorten this up. 
so that it's over here. But I feel like that'll still be a pain in the butt because it might just go sliding up and down your rope if you don't have it right. It's like that maybe. Yeah, it just ends up doing the same thing. And then you have to keep watching on it that it doesn't get all messed up. So, no, I really I don't like that either. I don't know, this thing was like 90 bucks here too, so I don't know if you'd really want to buy two of those. Honestly, I think if I was going to do this, I'm going to stick with the double tracks. But uh, thank you guys for commenting on below and suggesting this type of stuff. Maybe there's something out here that's more grippy. It's more like a progress capture because this thing, it goes up, it doesn't go down. This thing, it goes up, it could possibly, like you saw, go up and down, which could get pretty annoying. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. I'll probably now do double tracks, uh, more redundancy and a little bit safer. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. And Josh Perry climbing out of here. I think, yeah, I'm out of here. Off gear, oh, we're soloing now. Oh, we're out. <sighs> Soul out of here.